right down to a decision, you know, uh, she's in the sale, she's going to the sale. The, the thing is, you know, we'll take a shot, you know, she's, she's paid away, she made enough money last time to give her a shot, you know, and we've got nothing to lose. If we can hit the board, it's great for the owner, you know what I mean? And they're having a, they're having a fun time. The Phillies improved out of sight this year. Is she good enough? I don't know yet, but, you know, again, we're going to be a long shot, but we're going to give them a... Give Groupie shot. What did do for her moving her forward? I'd give her grade three. A grade three win. You know, that's the big thing. And it, it added asset value to the team. You know, she was a grade three winner. And then she was able to go on and be placed in the spinster grade one. So she's matured. I think that's the biggest thing. She's she's matured now. Um, that's I think that's the biggest issue, you know, maturity. Um, I can't put it down to anything because early on she was a filly that would get hyper, get get uh, herself wound up, you know, try and run a race before she got out there. And now it's it's become to, she's got into a comfort zone, into a maturity level, and she's doing things well. Your thoughts on her goat taking on the last two Kentucky Oaks winners in um, Abel Tasman and Monomoy Girl, as well as Midnight Bee Zoo. I need them to stub their toe, you know. Uh, I need them fillies to stub their toe, and that will help me. If they don't, I'm, I may be in trouble. But you figure, like I said, there's nothing to lose and everything to gain, and all yeah. she can do is enhance her value for the sale. That's it. You know, I, you know, if she runs a good third or fourth in this race, it enhances it. You know, it, it's great for her. You know, it shows how much she's improving. But, you know, it, it just we're going to need some help because they're good fillies. You know, let's be honest, they're yeah. very good fillies. You know, she hasn't faced anything like that before. So she'll she'll be tested. Here. She's doing super, you know. Uh, she got beat about a neck last trip at a Kingland, and uh, she got beat a head here. She, you know, before that, I mean, the race after that, she went to Groupie Dow. So she's doing so good right now. Like Ken says, you know, if we're gonna do something good, now's the time to do it. So, uh, and you know, I, I believe that they're gonna sell after this race. So it, it'd be a big, uh, you know, it'd be a big thing if she'd run one, two, three. And she's doing so good right now. Uh, I can't blame the people. Just to reflect on her groupie doll win at Ellison, what did you learn anything about her that day? Well, she she's always been a little funny filly, you know. And actually, she rather be on the outside of horses. And a few trips, you know, I come through with her, but she'd much rather be on the outside. And that's when she runs some big, big races, you know. But like I say, she's doing so good right now. I, I can't I can't blame her for trying. In the last two starts at Churchill and, and Keeneland in the grade one spinster, she just barely got beat by a blue prize in both horses. Just sort of talk about the finishes of both those races. I mean, like I said, the other filly, you know, propping and doing some funny stuff down the lane, you know, but she only beat my neck that day, and uh, I know they're going to have a big crowd, and that's really there. She's a little funny. So, you know, like, I mean, and she's doing so good, like Ian said, you know, if we're going to do something, we need to do it now, you know, and I... I I'm 100% with her. You think she's got all the tools, too? Yes, ma'am, she does. Let me know. Well, what do you think about taking on the last two Kentucky Oaks winners and Montemoy, Queen Montemoy Girl? Well, I, I, I'm not really scared of them. You know, I mean, I think she, she, she can compete against them.